<laughs> finally, 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 we won a game with me there after a very, very long streak of losing, it seemed. And, you know, everyone was joking if we had lost this game, I was going to be forever banned from the BB&T Center, ever see a Panthers play game again. So, they go 1-1, one 1-1-1 one, one, one one on the trip, so I'll take it. Um, and they went 0-2 the last time I went, and then 1-1-1 one, one, one the first time I've gone, gone down since being on Twitter. So, 2-4-2, two, and two, not a bad record. Yeah, definitely could be a better record, though. So, let's get to the game. Uh, big game. Got a lot to cover uh, with this game and then my overall trip. So, finally, we give up a power play goal. Colorado in the first period. First power play opportunity ends up perfect streak. We had killed in eight straight penalties in a row, and Colorado got on the board first. Uh, in the second period, in a tying the game, uh, Ekblad power play goal. We had scored earlier on an earlier power play, and the refs said that they uh, Colorado challenged it, and then the refs uh, it was determined that they had uh, it was play was offside. And, but it was a long while ago into the, it was before, like, the score scored. So why, why didn't you call it before that, you know, uh, instead of doing that to the catch? But, hey, we got revenge. Ekblad gets the power play goal. Ends up tying it. Harper, his first goal, got in the uh, second period and in the third period, a wild third period to start. One a minute and seven seconds, three goals scored. Uh, you had Marshall so, uh Hopper and then Shane for the Colorado Avalanche scoring and then Trotrek seals it for us as we went at 5-2. Big win uh, for the Cats. Definitely needed that after a tough couple of losses um, this week. So, you know, get the confidence going. Finally get the offense going where we need it to be. And again, power play clicking yet again. Another power play goal. So, you know, things are going to plan so far. Harper uh, definitely filled in really well uh, so far for the Cats. You know, two goals. Now, he even got in one fight uh, at the end. Missed the guy, Gordy Howe hat trick uh, by a stinking assist on any of the plays. And then missed a natural hat trick because, again, the fight. So he ended up getting out for the rest of the game, uh, which kind of sucks. You know, I really wanted to see him get a hat trick. That would have been really awesome to see. But it was to no avail. So, 3-1-1 to head on to this road trip. We have a huge road trip. Um, we definitely have to play tough. You know, I'm playing Toronto, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, and then I think Buffalo, and then Detroit. And then we finally come home November 1st to face off against the Boston Bruins. So, and you know, those games are always rivalry-type games for me. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the things. Um, I was not able to take a Yager shot when I was down there uh, at the BB&T Center. Nowhere where I was had Jagermeister. Maybe I was just looking in the wrong areas. So let's go ahead and do the first Jager shot of the um, 2016 season. Hopefully to more for um, the Cats and Yager. Well, hopefully he can get up to 20 goals this year. Let's see. Wow. I don't miss that stuff. I don't not miss that stuff. Guys. So uh, I want to show you some stuff real quick uh, that I got while I was down there. The Yager Mayor Yager Bobblehead. Thanks um, for that from my good buddy. You know who you are. And then I ended up getting um, two calendars, two of the banners that they gave out on opening night. So, you know, one of those, if not both, would be going hanging up right behind me, probably on this side. And I got a couple of t-shirts. There's one of them. And then here's another one committed to the Cats. 2016-17 um, season. Um... And I met a new Panther last night. They had given it a Panther fan last night. They had received three of these. It's a scarf. Uh, so I'll definitely be wearing that. During the winter time. Then my brother bought this because he was cold. You know, he forgot to wear a long sleeve shirt. Uh, you know, in a hockey arena, you know, it just gets a little cold. So, but 
So they ended up buying this, and they gave it to me. You know, got the new logo, Windbreaker. Uh, really cool. Won't be able to probably wear it too much up here for the next couple of months, seeing we're heading into a winter in a couple of months. But definitely wear it every opportunity that I can. And then the bread and butter of things that I got when I was down there. Again, you know, I've been looking for a flag for the background to upgrade this with the new logo. Lo and behold, I did find one uh, pumped for this. I was so excited. I was looking around Pantherland uh, before the game on Thursday, seeing what they had, hoping they'd have like a calendar, like a, a, a banner or something where I could, um, you know, put it in the background. And then lo and behold, right near the registers, I found it. And I'm like, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I definitely needed to find that. Um, now, when I was in Tampa, my good buddy Gunther bought, uh, gave me this rat uh, to throw on the ice. Five seconds away, you know the story. Uh, and then I brought it on Thursday. We lost. Uh, luckily, I left it at the... Um, my good buddy Adam and his wife will let me stay at the house again. Thank you guys for letting me stay. Greatly appreciated. And we won. So I guess whenever I go to a game, I'm never bringing a rat because the last time I went to a game in, up here in Boston, we won and I left a rat at home. So 2 0 so far. Yeah, I know. My superstitious nature is getting the best of me, which it did earlier this week. But. Um, so again, a really great time. I can't thank everybody enough uh, for their great hospitality, especially uh, Adam and his wife for letting me stay at their place. Um, always greatly appreciated. It. It's, you know, I can't thank you two enough for the hospitality and uh, support you gave me while I was down there. Uh, Adam too for driving me everywhere. Uh, again, I greatly appreciate that. And to all the fans down there that made me, you know, again, make it feel like my second home, hopefully soon my first home, just got to convince the wife, that's why I'm going to bring her to Panthapalooza, you guys can please show her that, you know, how much I love you guys, how much you love me, and see that, we can show her that, hey, you know, Florida can be a good place uh, to live, and we can hopefully convince her to want to move down there as well. So, with that, I'm going to close out this video, guys. Uh, again, thank you all for everything for this week. I had a blast. Um, great meeting you guys. You know, some new faces uh, that I haven't met before. And then the, my usual crew of people that I've met. You guys know who you are. So, thanks, guys. And I will be back on... Um, Thursday uh, with a recap. Probably not actually Tuesday. I won't have Tuesdays up due to the fact I have to close Tuesday and I'm gonna have to watch the review, the you know, the recap of it. Uh, so I, will, I won't record that one. I'll record it tomorrow on that not Tuesday night and then upload it Wednesday morning. So look forward to that. So again, got to off the tour trip. Good. Got to be Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. Um, hopefully we can start off the season 4 one which would be really awesome. So, again, thanks guys, and I'll see you later.